Hi everyone, hope you're fine. Welcome to DJ Stuff videos and DJ Stuff YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the Pioneer DJ DGM V10. So it's a brand new big monster table from Pioneer DJ. So uh, first, this mixer, um, I just uh, read the press release. So this mixer, uh, I think it will be good to use for a record box DJ, it's a, it's a Pioneer uh, DJ uh, mixer, but you can also mix with uh, Tractor if you want, if you want to exit some audio directly on the, um, the two sound cards on the mixer, and you can also um, mix with Serato, there will be an update to be certified for Serato, so with all those three you can also make DVS if you want, or just have MIDI controllers and exit the audio as you want, so basically you can uh, be two DJs and mix together with the two USB and you can mix between A and B on all the channels. So first, when you have your input, your source, you have just to check on each channel. If you are on the um, sound card, the first sound card, the second one in digital because you have a digital input, uh, coaxial, SPDIF, you have line input, Phono input, you are, will have phono input on the 1, 3, 4, and 6. But it's 4 turntables, so it's enough. You will have your built-in uh, FX you will have here, and external 1, external 2. External 1 and external 2 is just aux, and you will have a third uh, way to put some FX in the uh, outside with the same return here. Um, in this video, we will see two different FX. One, uh, if you don't really know what I am uh, saying, you have two type of two types of FX. You will have FX without a dry wet pot uh, volume uh, level and FX with the dry wet level. The different you can the, the different is that um, with uh, one uh, the one or the the other you can make some things in this typical mixer and you can't do other things with one unit with uh, no dry wet because the original um, signal will be mixed with the, the same signal in the device and the um, at the end the FX. So we'll have a little phasing. It's not a problem. You can put it on the same return and put some pedal FX on the X10 1, X10 2. If you really want to know what is the difference, you can see my previous um, video with uh, how to make a same return with the XDJ XZ. You, you, you will have both. You will have with the phasing and without the phasing. So you can see the difference and know how to use it. So, extend one, extend two. After you will have the gain control. So, let me put a little sound. So, gain, make sure you're not on the red part. You will see here you have orange, white, and red at the top. So, maybe like second one, white. You will have a compressor here. So, the compressor can put little color. Uh, when you have a sound not very well mastered, if you if you uh, if I want to say, if you have um, a track not very with a beautiful um, uh, mastering, uh, you can um, you can increase a little color uh, coloration into your track. And let me see, uh, let me show you how uh, it is with this type of track, for example. So without you will have this. And I put compressor. It will not. It will not increase your level. You see, if if I if I watch my level here, I am in minus six on my device recording device, and minus six here too. So it you will not have a big difference for your level, but you will have a. Um, a, uh, a sort of little com coloration of your track. Mm -hmm. 
after you will have four bain EQ, so you will have a full kill on the high and low. High. Medium one. Medium two. And low. And you will have a little thing with the medium. After you will have a filter. This filter is only alone, so you can apply it with the color FX, the built-in FX if you want, or the road FX, or you can with another FX, uh, an external FX. And you can apply it with a low pass filter, high pass filter, and the resonance. So with that resonance, low pass. High pass. And with resonance, low pass. And high pass. After you will have your uh, beat FX asin, like everything you will push here will go directly on the FX here. We will see in the near the end of the video. You can choose one channel if you want. You can choose, of course, the mic section. You can choose your master section section if you want. After you will have this send section here. So it's particular because you can do on board FX or directly you can uh, take the external one, external two, if you want to be um, a remix, a pedal FX like that, like you want. So first we are going to watch uh, to hear <laughs> the um, built-in and after we will make a little uh, FX outside and we will see together what it's, uh, what it's like. So first, color FX. Color FX have a little volume here. It's very, very cool because when you do it uh, built in uh, color FX and an outside uh, an, um, FX, you can choose which one will have the uh, bigger sound. So it's very pretty cool. So I put like that and I choose one of these. So now it's little. The time is pretty cool because it's a time and a pitch shift. And I will increase the feedback. I can increase to the volume. And I can touch the low frequency or high. The post fader, so it's pretty good. And they sound very great. So it was the short delay, long delay. Dub Echo. Low. And high. And the reverb is really cool reverb here. You will see there is another reverb here. Really cool. I I love very both of them. The 
and after the external part. So I put this FX directly on external one. So I have just to tap my tempo and put my level on. I can put an FX if I want a filter. And I can put my long delay if I want. And if I have maybe the um, uh, I don't know the the word. Um, if I my drop is my drop is coming like that, for example. Uh, here, where is drop? Yep. Here. For example, my first drop. I can turn out here. And it's okay. Very, they, they will be, they will go like that. It's very pretty cool. It's a sound. Uh, it's a... And send plus aux, so uh, you know what I mean. Um, after you will have the PFL, so you can listen. You have two PFL, two uh, Q sections. You have the A, the B. You can listen here. You can listen to the master. The A is here. You will be able to um, have a Q link if you have in Pro DJ Link, Pro DJ link in Recordbox. You can listen to the track directly on a record box you have the possibility to have the pre-eq so every uh, segment here will not go in your in your headphone you will have no um no change you have only your gain control directly on your pfl section you have a mono split you have of course the q part the master part if you want with this knob and the level you have two headphones here two headphones here two headphones and you can also on the b side so for example this one on the line four and you can also have a q link the q master section and the level here so it's pretty cool after you will have your fader and crossfader fader and crossfader have their own um, user uh, curve control so you can choose which one you want and you have your little switch here if you want for example to make a certain person want to make a feedback on the fader and feedback on or, or fed, uh, feedback on the crossfader so you can for example uh, put an echo and make your feedback for example on the fader on the crossfader like that Oh, excuse me, yeah. You see, on the fader or the crusader. Of course, A will make nothing. B cut on A and A cut on B, of course. And it's all for the main part of the mixer. You will have your send return here, so you, you have just to uh so you you have to take all your um unit with no wet uh, dry wet signal dry wet level you can put it directly on the send return and you have just to select the channel put directly on the middle and on off and you can make an fx here for example yep this one and this one The send return is pre-fade, so when you cut, everything will cut. So if you want to make a little feedback on your echo, if you want, you have just to push this reverb with no resonance here, like that, 
you put it directly on full here and you push high pass for example it's sort of uh, it's a sort of trick if you want to uh, to, to have the feedback of the echo. So, send return. Send return can be directly used with a USB, uh, with a tablet, with the RMX uh, 1000 uh, applic app, if you want. And send return can be done in the USB, in the quarter jack, uh, we will see after in the connections. You can also, if you have a uh, compatible app, you can also put some samples directly on each channel. You have just to put in built-in uh, everywhere. And you can also uh, input the output uh, some signal. You see there is channel two and channel five on the um, for the sound card directly here. So it's done. Let's see the last uh, volume control. You will have two mic inputs with a low high uh, configuration. You have a talk over if you want. Talk over can be directly. Uh, manage on the screen if you want. You can assign to the bit FX. You have a master volume with uh, segment is just it's not segment but little point for the meters. You can assign to bit uh, FX if you want, and you have a big, uh, three big knob to make a full kill in the master part like that. Yep. Um, so you have to just to push here and you can put some on off or you can put on and make little thing like that. Etc etc. So if you have this one and you have your booth output with a little EQ here, high, low and booth output here. So it's pretty done for all things. And let's see the beat FX. So the beat FX, you will have all FX here. Like always, you have just to uh, take uh, the effects you want. You can have your beat configuration directly on these button, uh, those buttons here, or you can also push in the uh, pad uh, section. The tactile is very accurate, so you can, you will see with the roll or delay, you can have very beautiful things. Each uh, FX can have its own um, configuration. You see, for example, ping pong. You have low control, you see, low is on, but echo, it's not on. Every configuration like that can be saved directly on the screen with a USB key. And when you have this mixer, you can have your own configuration directly in your USB key and load this preference direct, excuse me, directly, uh, I know, directly um, on the on the USB key. So it's very great. And let's see each FX. We will see more the new FX like uh, Shimmer. Uh, it's a little rever reverb you will see. So you can make FX with the on off here, or you can also put your level on the middle, for example, and push directly the pad. And let's see what it's like. So Dilly, you have two different type of uh, uh, Dilly. You can put it and increase the level if you want or you can put the level full and directly push um, the pad I, you, I will show you the two different things so maybe I will put one quarter so you can put it directly on each frequency or only high only mid, only low, it's not very cool, or every frequency. So you can increase like that, or you can do like I really like. You don't push on, you put your load of death directly to maximum, full, and you push your screen when you want to make a delay like a little pass pass.
then the echo. So I really like the echo with the low disengage. After the ping pong, I can't hear the ping pong because I have only one speaker, but you will see you will have the ping pong on the left on the right. Spiral, spiral like always, you can uh, take your spiral in the music and manage it in another channel. It's pretty cool, you can manage it and the music still play underneath. So pretty like that. You put at the maximum and you put another channel. So it's very cool. After Helix, so it's like always there is a lot of manipulation to make, uh, to be able to use it very cool. After reverb, so it's like always, but it's better because you can do it on the pad. After the shimmer, I prefer the shimmer um, than the reverb. I prefer it's it's like um, a film ambiance, you know, like a little thing like that. You see, it's pretty cool. If I put it directly on uh, vocal, for example. Very pretty good. Cool. Um, after Franger, Father, you know, you know, those FX is pretty uh, the same thing after uh, each each model of uh, unit. The filter with the little LFO. Automatic LFO. The trance, the trance is pretty cool with those FX here and the quantize function. You see, if I put trance like that, okay, it's cool, but make the ambience with that. etc. After the roll, it's pretty cool because the roll you can make some roll, but if you combine two 
uh, two fingers, you will have a sort of slip, slip roll. It's pretty cool. So you can make roll like that. But if you go in a different part like that, and with two fingers, And the pitch, so pitch also is pretty cool with voice. So you can maybe doing a big change, but you can also put lit of chain like that. And after vinyl break, it's pretty cool because vinyl break, you can make a break like uh, one beat if you want, but you can also uh, make a larger break uh, with the level depth like that. Look, if I put uh, this part, I can put one beat like that, or quarter beat, two beat, uh, not quarter beat, uh, three, three, four. Okay. You know that. But if I take one, but I put at zero, I can make a longer, one, uh, what longer I want. Or very short. It's pretty cool. So the uh, vinyl break, and of course, I will make with uh, this sound. At the end, there is no um, too not too much melody, etc. You can do a lot of things with FX. I will put some color FX, some delay, reverb, and something with the remix, all together with a little filter too. On, uh, on this channel and let's see what it I, I, I can't tell you that it will be very cool uh, this uh, one minute of uh, uh, messing around but you will see all the possibility when you combine different uh, different effects
Yeah, just an example, but just to show you with the combination, we, we, when you will mix uh, with people, etc., you will not push uh, three or four FX, but you can see that you can adjust each FX, etc., and you can have four FX and combine, if you want, with different methods. So it's just an example, but you can have an infinite um, way to uh, to put uh, those together and I think it's done so let's talk about the screen so you have of course the channel curve and cursor curve but you can also uh, go to the configuration you can load or save the, your configuration and with a time button and your finger you can go in each um, each, each settings you can have the headphone you can have uh, the bit quantize, the low cut, I think it's uh, 80, um, 80 Hz, the talk over mode, the MIDI channel, the brightness, so you can have more brightness, less brightness. You can put white, you can see anything, but you look at the picture, this is what you get uh, when you go here. After you get you have each FX, you see echo, ping pong, spiral, and you can load each parameter like you want for this mixer. It's pretty cool. So you will have on the front, but it's very easy. So on the front, trust me, you will have um, double jack for uh, your headphone, the Enfote B, uh, Enfote 2. Let's see the Shuko here. It's we. You will have a little protection to not to um, take it too easily. Uh, for the trust me, there is a there is a something uh, to uh, not. Uh, oh yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, let's see the inputs. So you will have two mic inputs. One with a combo XLR jack, uh, six quarter uh, quarter jack, a quarter jack for the mic two. You have all your SEA for your input line phono. You will have input and output in SPDIF digital SPDIF. Um, you have an AES EBU2 for the festival, etc. You have a MIDI out for your um, um, for your BPM, the BPM clock. If you have other device to um, to share the BPM clock with the to share the MIDI clock. Of the mixer for the over the like a sequencer sampler, you have your Pro Digit Link um, RG45 plug, you have balance output for the booth, secondary booth output, balance 2 for the master 1, master 2 in the SEA, you have a rake output, uh, some people will be happy with this, <laughs> you have external 1, external 2 with jack uh, quarter. Uh, for send return, send return, and you have your real send return for the FX, uh, external FX with no dry wet pot here. And of course, little, um, little um, protection, uh, no protection. Um, oh, what is in English? Your mass, the ground, ground, your ground screws, if you want for your turntable that need a ground like a Technics MK2, for example. So big video about this brand new mixer from Pioneer DJ uh, DGM V10. If you have any questions about this mixer, feel free to ask under this video. And uh, thank you for watching this one and see you next content. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Ciao.